Hey everyone, it's Waze. Uh, in today's video, which is another sketch and chat, I'm going to be talking about the centuries-long controversy in the art world. Is drawing anime bad? I'm sure many of you have heard it before, that anime isn't real art, stuff like that. Art teachers specifically say that a lot, no matter if you're in college or in school, and hearing that from people who are supposed to guide you when you're joining can make it really confusing to decide what to do or what to draw. Because, well, I like anime, but my art teacher said it's not good or that I shouldn't draw it, so what do I do now? How can I be genuine in my expression if the stuff I like isn't real art? Well, I'd like to say my opinion on the matter because I've been there, <laughs> ashamed of drawing anime and getting shunned by college teachers because I'd be making pretty girls and not contemporary art, which would be considered real art by them. But before I talk about today's topic a bit more, I'd like to introduce you to this video's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is a website building platform that allows you to easily create your own online shop, portfolio, anything you'd use a website for, basically. I've used Squarespace for my own online shop for a while now, and it's really simple to use. They have templates for you to choose from and then personalize the way you want it to look. All very intuitive, nice and easy. And I have a coupon for you guys. If you're ever thinking of making a website, you can use it to get a nice discount. Okay now, back to the video. I believe that the anime art style is shunned on for a couple reasons, and one of them that I'm gonna be talking about in this video is that when you use a certain style as a starting point in your art journey, you might not realize you're skipping a few steps. Anime art is simplified and stylized so much that you're not really learning much if your only reference is a couple animes. A style is a translated version of the world, it's one of many ways to interpret what's around us. When you take a single style and start from there, using only references from that style, you're missing out on the many other ways to interpret the world by not allowing yourself to interpret it. You took the simplified stylized version and ran with it, but what about your own simplification, your own stylization? That's one of the barriers people come across when trying to find their visual identities. They've never allowed themselves to see the world with their own eyes before translating everything into this pre-established anime formula you took and ran with. The reason teachers will encourage you to try and do traditional studies, experiment with other stuff, other visuals, is to get that anime filter out of the way and let yourself figure out how you do things. When copying the human figure, the goal isn't to make a perfect copy. It's to make you realize what you think are the important parts in representing a human figure and what you think can be simplified, left out, or stylized. A hand with five fingers can be simplified into a single shape that together with the rest of the drawing will read as a hand. A leg can be translated into a shape with no shading or many different size shapes with small details in them. It all depends on what you want to emphasize and what you want to simplify. That's why when doing a live drawing class, even though the model was the same, everyone will have a different drawing because people prioritize different things in their art. So when studying the human figure, try not to apply any filters you acquired along the way. Cartoon filters, anime filters, leave them to the side for now and focus on figuring out your own priorities when drawing. Then experiment with mashing everything together and see how all filters combined make for a more genuine drawing. One that looks more like you. I, for example, like anime, cartoons, fun stuff, etc. But I also really like the shapes in the hip bone area that are often way too simplified for me in cartoon and anime. So I want to incorporate those little things that I find important into what I like. That way, my art can be a true representation of what I value when translating real life images into my own language. So it's not that anime is bad, I truly think teachers just don't know how to explain why they don't want you to do it, but they just know it's not where you should focus your attention on. They could be a bit more kind when talking about it, but you know. <sighs> I know I talked about genuinity in my last sketch and chat video, and you might think, Waze, I genuinely like anime, isn't that enough? And yeah, I get that it might be a bit confusing, 
but genuinity isn't only about what you like and dislike, it's also how you genuinely interpret things, how your own way of thinking and processing information influences the outcome of your work. And everyone processes information in different ways, highlighting things and forgetting other things. And that's the beauty of art, I think. Just, you know when people say that a drawing, like a piece of art is uh, a portal to how these how artists see that thing like if Picasso painted an apple that's how Picasso sees that apple that's kind of what I mean when I'm saying this that's the beauty of art seeing how different people see things differently and honestly everyone sees things differently and if you're an artist please show it to me like everyone wants to know your interpretation of things in the end, it's a huge self-discovery journey that takes years of practice and conscious efforts to understand yourself and what makes you, you, and the earlier you start, the better. Practice the fundamentals, try to put the stylized filters away for a bit when studying, and you will see progress. I hope this made sense to you guys and that it was helpful in any way. Hope you liked this video and the little sketches too. If you like these types of videos, I'd love if you suggested more topics for me to talk about because I'm bad at coming up with stuff on my own. So what would you like to hear from me? Let me know. See you in my next video. Bye bye. Hey, editing ways here. Uh, just uh, to reinforce that these are only my opinions on the matter and once again I would love to hear what you guys have to say about the topic so just leave comments down below and I'll read them uh, yeah I'm really passionate about like genuinity in art and stuff like that so <laughs> yeah only my opinions and if my opinions help you or resonate with yours then great and if they don't, let me know why. I really, really like discussing different opinions. So yeah, okay, okay, bye. <laughs>